Hey guys, so this is a Monday chat. So usually on a Monday chat, I don't do any reactions. I'll just chat with you guys. So I thought I would um, chat with you all about, oh, what's the thing here? The pantomime that I went to to see Priscilla Presley. Um, so let's rewind back a few years. Um, I went to see Priscilla Presley and she was in, and I'm not sure where it was. <laughs> I think it was Birmingham or Milton Keynes. I'm not entirely sure, but it was in England somewhere. So we had to drive about two hours with my children in the car. My husband didn't go because we, um, the boys were really small. We decided not to take the boys in and we just made it a trip for me and my mum. And my husband took the boys to the cinema to see a real kiddie movie. Um, Di was devastated because he wanted to see Priscilla in the, the pantomime as well but he let me and my mum go and it was great of him. So I went with the Elvis Presley travel service, Strictly Elvis. Now I'll post their little link here for their Facebook page. Please go on over and check them out if you haven't already. They do tours all over the world for Elvis related so they'll go to Germany, they do America, um, there's just so many things that they do. They do an Elvis festival in the UK, which is amazing. My husband goes every year and adores it. And that's where I got to meet my husband in the first place. So um, they arranged it and we were all excited. And hopefully I'm showing you pictures alongside this because I've got a whole album of pictures from this experience. So I should be showing you them, family ones and my son when we were going through um, and what we dressed like because I was wearing a Christmas dress. I'm sure it was 2015 and I'm sure she was playing the genie from Aladdin. Now, it's all kind of a blur to me at the moment, but um, it was definitely around that time and she was definitely wearing something gorgeous. Now, um, we went through and I absolutely loved it. I thought she was fantastic. She delivered the lines so beautifully and um, she was just really, really good. So hopefully I'm sharing pictures of me and my mum sitting waiting for Priscilla to come on. Um, and it was just great. And it was great that we went with the Elvis Presley Travel Service. They were so good to go with. Um, we got to meet up with them and um, the surprise came afterwards. So afterwards, Carol Pugh, who runs um, the Elvis Presley Travel Service and Strictly Elvis, and David Wade said, if you all just stay around, and we were like, oh my gosh, what, what, what? <laughs> they got us to meet Priscilla. It was so exciting. We all had to wait at the end. And then they took us down into this like auditorium place where all the um, seats were. It was maybe the top, the very top of the um, of the stage from like where you sit. So I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know where it was. It's like a mystery mind to me now. I can hardly remember it. But I remember her coming in. She was so little, guys. She was like a little doll, honestly. And if that was what she was like, but even smaller when she was with Elvis, no wonder he fell in love with her. And her features are so stunning. Everything about her was lovely. Well, anyway, she came in and she did a little chat and she was right beside me. She was just like literally there. I was so excited because I like Priscilla. I've always loved Priscilla. Um, Elvis loved her and she is the mother of Elvis's child. Therefore, I respect her no matter what. Um, and that's important for me. Um, so I was so excited and <laughs> got to see her there. So anyway, she did a little chat and she um, spoke about the performance and spoke a little bit about Elvis and thanked us all for coming. Um, Carol asked her a few questions and things. And it was just lovely. It really was. Then the ultimate. Now, Priscilla was born, wasn't she, in 45? My mum was born in 40. So there's a few years difference, but not much. So my mum has mobility issues. Back then, she had the start of dementia, but she was pretty good. But she did have um, mobility issues. She was really struggling. She needed her walker to walk, to help her walk and stuff. Bless her heart. So anyway, she's sitting on the chair and my mum reaches out to give her a hand and she's like, oh, and my mum says, oh, I'm trying to get up. Priscilla tries to help my mum. She does. She, it was just, it, and what happened was it wasn't f forced it wasn't fake. It wasn't anything but another person helping another person. And it was just lovely. And I have pictures of that. I'm showing you the pictures now. And honestly, she leaned on into her and was like, can I help you? And it was just sweet. And it made me think that's the core in her being to help someone. And I loved it. And I thought it was precious. And I'll always remember it for life. Um, and my mum will always remember it too. So yeah, the biggest Elvis fan in the family 
went to meet Priscilla Presley, didn't get to meet her. My mum instead did and got to hold her hand and <laughs> got to speak to her really close. Oh my gosh, I was so, so jealous. But I was happy for my mum as well. And it was really nice. I mean, the show, the production was brilliant. The after show chat was just great. Then she um, went out into the foyer and we were allowed to take pictures with her, get her to sign an autograph. I never went to get sign an autograph, but there were so many people there trying. I thought, let's leave the lady alone. I'm fine with just having a picture and um, seeing her up close and hearing her talking and I'm not a collector so I wouldn't have looked after it as much as what maybe someone else would who would want her autograph. I'm just not into that kind of stuff. So um, then Carol and David said let's all stand together and we've got a group picture. I'm sharing the group picture now hopefully across the screen so you can see it. Now you can see me, you can't see mum, she's got a little walker and she's at the back. I don't know where my mum went. Um, after it, I was like, mum, where were you? But um, I think she was off talking to someone else, I can imagine. So my mum was a bit of a gasser and liked to chat quite a lot. So um, yeah, that is my story of meeting Priscilla at the pantomime and her actually helping my mum. Now, before I forget, if you're American and you're out there thinking, what the heck is a pantomime? If you've got to this part and you've stayed to this part of the video, a pantomime in the UK is a national treasure. It's something that we do every single Christmas and it isn't Christmas without a pantomime. And you'll have a villain, you'll have a goodie, you'll have men dressed as women, you'll have women dressed as men, you'll have the heroine, which is um, like maybe Cinderella or um, loads of different characters that they'll have in pantomimes. And then you, it's like an interaction. So they get to interact with us, we get to interact with them. And it's like a combination of the two. So it's not, you don't go to a pantomime and sit quietly and watch it. You go to a pantomime to shout, he's behind you, that kind of thing. So if you are into pantomimes or you're from the UK and you know it, put down in the comments below, what do you think of the pantomimes? I love them. And when Priscilla was in one, I could not miss it. I needed to go to see her and it was fantastic. Loved every second and meeting her was a thrill and hearing her chat was a thrill and she is a lovely, lovely lady in real life. So yeah, that is my Christmassy chat as I went at Christmas time and I hope you enjoyed this video. So yeah, take care of yourself and have a wonderful day. Um, did you see Priscilla in the pantomime? Put down in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. Take care. Bye everyone.